The Dark Origins of Fairy Tales is actually one of the most disturbing stories ever told as it involves murder, rape and cannibalism. It was so gruesome that they had to be changed over the years to suit children nowadays. So here are the top 10 most disturbing fairy tales ever told. Number 10 is Cinderella. In the Dark Origins, the two sisters desperately wanted to marry the prince. The elder sister tried putting on the glass shoe, but her toe won't fit. The mother hands her a knife and said to her, walking will no longer be necessary once she is queen. The prince knew it was a trick when he noticed her feet was bloody and her toe was missing. Next, the second sister tried putting on the glass shoe, but her heel won't fit. Again, the mother gave her a knife asking her to cut out her heel in order to be queen. The prince knew it was a trick again when he noticed her feet was also bloody and that her heel was missing. And finally, Cinderella was summoned from the kitchen and the prince found his Cinderella. Cinderella is number 10 as it only involves self-mutilation. Number 9 is Snow White. In the Dark Origins, the jealous witch is actually Snow White's stepmother. Now Snow White's stepmother made three attempts to kill Snow White. The first two failed, but the last finally succeeded. That is the poison apple. So the seven dwarves made Snow White a beautiful glass casket and put her inside. Soon after, a prince passed by and saw Snow White's corpse in the glass casket. He fell in love with the corpse and wishes to bring her home. What is he going to do with Snow White's corpse? Use your imagination. So the prince man accidentally dropped the casket and Snow White coughed out the piece of apple stuck in her throat. And no, there was no true love kiss. And in the end of the story, Snow White gets married to the prince and Snow White's stepmother was forced to dance in red hot iron shoe until she dies. Snow White is number 9 as it involves torture and necrophilia. Number 8 is Hansel and Gretel. In the Dark Origins, the two kids did not wander into the forest but was abandoned by their parents and left to rot in the jungle. They later found a house made of gingerbread and cake where a cannibalistic witch lives. Hansel and Gretel was captured by the witch and fattened to be eaten later. Hansel and Gretel outsmart the witch and shoved her into the oven where she was roasted alive. In short, this is what you should have in mind. A story on how parents abandon their children, cannibalism, and children killing for survival. It's the reason why Hansel and Gretel is number 8. Number 7 is The Little Mermaid. The story goes that a beautiful mermaid saved a prince from a shipwreck, but the prince mistaken another woman as his saviour. Now the mermaid wants to meet the prince again, so she visited a witch, hoping that the witch can give her a pair of human legs. The witch agreed, but as payment, the mermaid has to give the witch her tongue. Plus, there was another catch. If she fails to win the prince's affection, she will be turned into a form of bubbles. The little mermaid tried to win the prince's affection, but he fell in love with the woman who he fought save him from the shipwreck. The little mermaid's sister visited the witch, trying to save her, and the witch gave the sisters a knife, which the little mermaid must kill the prince with to be turned back into a mermaid. The little mermaid fails however, jumps out the window and was turned into a form of bubbles. The little mermaid is number 7 as it involves mutilation, attempted murder, and a sad ending where the little mermaid dies for chasing the one she loves. Number 6 is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. In the Dark Origins, Esmeralda, the gypsy girl, was charged with attempted murder of Phoebus, whom Frollo actually attempted to kill in jealousy after seeing him trying to seduce Esmeralda. Esmeralda was tortured and was sentenced to death by hanging. Quasimodo swings down by the bell rope of Notre Dame to save Esmeralda and help her escape. However, Esmeralda was later found by Frollo, 
Again, Frollo tries to win her heart over but fails. Out of anger, Frollo hands her over to the troops and laughs while they hang her. Quasimodo sees Frollo laughing and pushes him from the heights of Notre Dame to his death. Quasimodo goes to the graveyard where the gypsy was left. And finally, he stays with Esmeralda and dies from starvation. This story reaches number 6 as it involves attempted murder, actual murder, torture, and almost everyone dies at the end. Number 5 is The Sleeping Beauty The original name of this story is actually Sun, Moon and Talia. The story goes that Talia fell and took a sleep like death when a splinter of flax got under her fingernail. Out of depression, Talia's father decides to put Talia in one of his country estates. Soon after, a king finds Talia. Unable to wake her up, he decides to rape her. She got pregnant and gave birth to twins. The twins was reaching out of all the breasts when one of them mistakenly sucks on Talia's finger and draws the flax splinter out. The king went back to, well, rape her again, but found that she is now awake with his two children. The king decides to marry her. However, the king's current wife got jealous and orders the chef to cook the twins and serve them to the king, but the chef hides the twin instead. The king's wife wanted to burn Talia alive but fell when the king heard Talia scream. The king rescued Talia and demanded that his current wife and secretary to be burned alive. Sleeping Beauty is number 5 as it involves seriously bad parenting, Talia's father, rape, marrying a rapist, telling children that having two wives is okay, and killing people by roasting them alive. Number 4 is The Fox and the Hound In the original work, the chief was actually ran over by the train and died on the spot, sending the hunter into a rage, and he swore that he will kill Todd no matter what. A few years down the road, Todd was raising his own family when his den was discovered by the hunter, and he gassed Todd's children to death. Todd's mate was later killed by a leg hole trap set by the hunter. Another few years down the road, Todd was raising a new family, but all of them were shot by the hunter, and yes, all of them were killed. Further down the road, there was a rabies outbreak, which infected most fox. The townspeople hired the hunter, and he sets up traps that poison. The traps killed most fox, domestic animals, and even a little kid, but ironically, not Todd. Todd was later spotted by the hunter, and Copper ran after him, too weak and too old. Todd dies from exhaustion, and Copper collapsed on top of him. The hunter was also getting too old, and agreed living in a nursery home. As he could no longer take care of Copper, he takes his shotgun, leads Copper outside, pats him gently, before ordering him to lie down and cover Copper's eye. You know where this is going, right? The Fox and the Hound is number 4 as it involves killing the whole family of Todd twice, rabies outbreak that killed a lot of people, death of innocent domestic animals and even a little kid, death of most of the animal characters inside the story, and at the end of the story, everyone's miserable, even the hunter. Number 3 is Pinocchio In the original work, Pinocchio wasn't so delightful. Pinocchio's father was in prison because of Pinocchio as people thought he was abusing Pinocchio. At home, Pinocchio was visited by a talking cricket and Pinocchio responded by smashing the cricket with a mallet. Pinocchio later got his feet burned by sleeping with his feet in the stove. Don't ask me how that happened. Later, a cat and fox approached Pinocchio to rob him. The cat grabbed hold onto Pinocchio and Pinocchio responded by biting his paw clean off. The bandits hang Pinocchio on a tree to suffocate him. Thankfully, he doesn't need oxygen since he's a puppet. Pinocchio's father was worried about Pinocchio, so he set sail to find him, and was swallowed up by not a whale, but by a terrible dogfish. I swear, I'm not making this up. Pinocchio was later swallowed up by the terrible dogfish as well. They discover that the monster has asthma, Again, I'm not making this up. 
and managed to escape by jumping out of his mouth with the help of a giant tuna. They returned home and saw the cat and the fox who is now blind and lame. The author wanted to show karma I guess. But at the end of the story, Pinocchio did manage to become a real boy. So that's a happy ending, I guess. Causing your own father to be in prison? Running away from home? Killing someone who wants to help? Burning your own feet off? Biting a paw clean off are the reasons why Pinocchio is number 3. Number 2 is Red Riding Hood. The original Red Riding Hood is one of the most dark stories that I ever heard. So in the origins, the wolf did not hide the grandmother but ate her. The wolf then cooks the leftover and saves some of her blood to be served to Red Riding Hood later. When Red Riding Hood reaches her grandmother's house, she obliviously ate her own grandmother and drank her blood. Furthermore, the word whore was used to describe Red Riding Hood by a talking cat. The still oblivious Red Riding Hood later strips down and got in bed with the wolf and was eaten whole by the wolf. And the woodsman who was supposed to save them, yeah, he did not exist back then. In short, this is the ending. Red Riding Hood is number 2 because it involves people being eaten alive. The teaching of the usage of the word whore to describe a person, the bad guys win, and most importantly, a child cannibalizing her own grandmother. However, it is still less gruesome than the number one most disturbing fairy tales ever told. Number one is the Pipe Piper. Which version is the original is debatable. However, the most disturbing version of the Pipe Piper is when the people refuse to pay him. So the Pipe Piper took revenge by leading the children into the river where they all drowned. Except for one who wasn't able to keep up. The Pipe Piper, even though the story is short, is still number one. Because unlike other stories, it involves the mass murder of innocent children for things their parents did. I mean, we might be talking about hundreds, thousands or even more innocent lives. And this one reason had made the Pipe Piper the most disturbing fairy tale ever told. It's hard to imagine that the stories we tell children today used to contain murder, rape, cannibalism and necrophilia. I guess the world is full of disturbing facts. This is GTX saying stay safe and thanks for watching.